Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And do you happen to have a extra Siege Sideswipe lying around? Did you go buy the Kingdom Sideswipe and now this guy's sitting in a storage bin somewhere? If so, this is the decal set for you. This is Toy Hacks's conversion set to change Siege Sideswipe into Generation 2 GoBot Optimus Prime. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on foil backing and this really cool blue Energon axe from the Toy Hacks Armory. Now I already have a red Sideswipe rifle right there from the Toy Hacks Armory, so I'm really curious to see how these are going to look together. Not to mention, I cannot wait to see Sideswipe become G2 GoBot Optimus Prime. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Sideswipe both before and after his Toy Hacks conversion. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now before I start going over Sideswipe before, I want to give a huge shout out to my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Firetox. I didn't have an extra Siege Sideswipe because I didn't purchase the Kingdom version. So I reached out to some of my close friends asking if anyone had an extra to sell. Firetox did, sold me this figure, and as an extra surprise, he sent me some 3D printed parts that he made specifically for Sideswipe after he becomes Optimus Prime. So we'll take a look at these at the end of the video. So everybody knows what Sideswipe looks like, what this mold looks like, because pretty much this mold right here is the Autobot Seeker mold. This figure has been reused, or this mold has been reused so many times. So Sideswipe here, he's got a black helmet blue eyes, silver face, he's got the black launcher with red missile or gun, red Autobot logo there on the center of the chest, we got some silver headlights, got that great siege scuffing there on the waist, and down here on the shins with silver feet. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. So there you go, there's one final look at Siege Sideswipe as Sideswipe before and after and wow what a difference this decal set made on sideswipe and i am so thankful that toy hacks took some creative liberties with this decal set because the original g2 gobot optimus prime was a very plain looking figure though there was one version that had this blue t with transformers on the chest and as you can see toy hacks gives you that option to put on the chest of your Siege Sideswipe. I, of course, went with the black decal right here with the blue highlights and red G2 Autobot symbol. They also have new decals for the head to give him a blue helmet. Now, there are lots of little decals that you really wanna make sure you match up to get just right. And another option for you, if you happen to have an extra deep cover, you can just switch the heads and the hands. Now, unfortunately, I only had this one deep cover and I really didn't feel like sacrificing him for the decal set. Plus, if I'm gonna do a Toy Hacks review, I wanna show as many of the decals as possible. And I think those blue helmet decals look really good. There's also an option for the face. He gets like a goatee, if you will. You have chrome that I have, or you could also choose blue or black. I decided to go with chrome because, you know, it kind of fits with Prime's mouth plate. You also get G2 Autobot logos there on the shoulders, 
Once again, you do have options. You could do the regular Autobot insignia, and you have Autobot insignias there on the fist, wraparound decals there for the forearms, vent decals for the shoulders, and these little yellow decals on the forearms that are very reminiscent of G1 Optimus Prime's decals. Also, another cool throwback to G1 Optimus Prime. Look at the abs right there. It looks like Prime's grill, so I dig that. He's got a yellow belt. Moving on down, yellow shins, just like the G2 toy. Blue and black decals there for the knees. Blue there for the toes. And if you flip the chest open right here, he does have a matrix. So that is really cool. I love what they did for this figure right here. Now let's take a look at the blue Energon axe he comes with. Very well done, nice and smooth, and I love the color scheme with this. I'm not sure if these are resin or not, but just like the rest of the Toy Hacks Army weapons, this thing looks awesome. So we'll go ahead and put that in his left hand. And then I have this other Toy Hacks Armory weapon that I got a few months ago. This is a red side swipe gun. We'll go ahead and put that in his right hand. And now we'll have G2 GoBot side swipe all armed and ready for battle. And man, I love this. They did such a good job. So there you go, guys. Side swipe as G2 GoBot Optimus Prime in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Siege Sideswipe still retains the same color scheme he had in robot mode. I do like the looks of this figure. The black accents along the side look really, really good. And up here on the top for intakes. It's got a translucent canopy here with a pretty cool design underneath. Don't really mind that too bad. You got the Autobot logo right there the silver headlights, the silver rims that look really good. So much better than the clip-on wheels that we've been getting lately. Back of the figure, lots of molded detail, but no paint applications. So there you go. There is Siege Sideswipe in vehicle mode before. And after. Sideswipe, or G2 Optimus Prime's vehicle mode, looks just as flamboyant now as his robot mode. Once again, got to give a huge shout out to Toy Hacks for their creativity with this set because the original G2 figure in its vehicle mode was also very plain. Red and black, but with yellow wheels that Toy Hacks did add for this decal set. So you got multiple decals that go on the wheels to give him yellow rims. I think that looks really good. We saw the decals before on the hood in robot mode. We got a brand new blue with a little bit of black, new windshield right there that goes all the way around, and a new roof decal with blue stripes and yellow highlights. There are new decals right here that cover up this black section. And right here, you need to be warned that this decal here is supposed to go lower down. But when you open the flap, it would tear that decal off every time. So what I did, I brought that decal up just a little bit higher to match up with the edge right here. And now, as you see, it works fine, no problems whatsoever. There's also new decals along the sides here that add some black with blue stripes. Decals right here that give some chrome piping. On the back of the figure, we got these decals that show blue cybernetics or circuit boards, something looks really cool. I dig it, really breaks up all the red. And then here on the back of the vehicle, he gets new tail lights. So all in all, not a bad looking alt mode whatsoever. I love it. So there you go guys, G2 GoBot Optimus Prime in vehicle mode after. I absolutely love Toy Hacks' conversion sets, where they take one figure and change it into a completely different one. It's some of my favorite sets that Toy Hacks puts out, and this one right here just adds to that list. 
I almost didn't order this set because I thought, man, I have enough side swipes, but the more I got to looking at him, I really wanted one. And like I said, I got to give a huge shout out to my buddy Firetox for hooking me up with this side swipe. And oh yeah, I do want to show off the uh, accessories I got from Firetox. This blue prime ion rifle for him, and the blue actually matches really good. He just went off the pictures on Toy Hacks' website. So I'll go ahead and trade out that weapon for this. And as you can see, they are blast effect compatible. And he also gave me a set of shoulder cannons. So these actually peg in right there beside side swipes head. He's got these big gravity fed magazines on top. So there you've got that look going on, or you can actually take these off and peg them into Sideswipe's shoulders or G2 Optimus Prime shoulders. So now he's got like his smokestacks. So Firetox, thank you so much. I think that looks really cool. If you guys wanna check out Firetox, I'm gonna put a link to his Facebook page in the description of this video. So yeah, if you guys happen to have an extra Siege Sideswipe lying around and love obscure figures, this is the decal set for you. You get the decals plus the Energon Axe, which is a pretty good deal. Keep in mind, the red Sideswipe weapon is sold separately. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button thanks to YouTube, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!